All right, as property owners know, we've gotten reassessed. The county has done the reassessment, and a lot of unhappy people out there, a few people that are happy went down a little bit, but property owners generally not too happy with this. And there is a grassroots effort uh, foot right now to uh, to protest this, to bring to light what's going on and try to do something about it. Tammy Graham Curry joins us. Tammy, good morning. Good morning. Well, you got a lot of people in an uproar here. You got over 1,100. I heard at last report on the uh, Facebook page. Uh, is yeah, that num- we do. <laughs> is that number increasing? Yes, it is. Actually, it's over 1,200 now as over of this morning. So. <laughs> All right. What is the purpose? What is the purpose? Uh, what are you guys trying to do here? Well, we're trying to make this tax assessment company and the commissioner see that having not done this in so many years isn't our fault. And and while we agree things should be fair and balanced, it, this is a hit. This is a major hit for a lot of people. And, you know, it, something really needs to be done to repair it. Well, I, again, we we can't speak for the commissioner side or the, the company that did it. I'm sure they had guidelines. But I have heard of places where people had a small piece of ground and taxes, I mean, just weeds, nothing, and they have just gone through the roof and nothing has been done out there. I'm sure you're hearing lots of stories. Are there any ones that really stick out right now, That uh, stories on the reassessment? Oh, there's many. There's <laughs> many, many. And, you know, first let me say this is we're not – trying to degrade the commissioners or the tax reassessment company just want people to see want people to sit up and take notice what a hit this has been for the county um for instance i have a neighbor whose taxes increased from 1900 to nearly 7000 and they're in the process of trying to sell their home hmm. when the prospective buyers hear what the new taxes may possibly be we hope they get them reduced is that going to affect the buy probably um, I've heard a lot of people say, well, I'm just going to put my house up for sale. Who wants to take on your tax debt? Nobody. I, I, I'm, I'm fearing a lot for the farmers. The land valuation has just risen so much, and I think that's a big bone of contention amongst people right now, just how much their land value has risen. Now, there so is an I, appeal. I think this needs addressed. There is an appeal process in place. Uh, there's a, exactly. Oh, you can go to the Indiana Mall and do it right there. You can take your paperwork. Uh, wouldn't that be the, the right first step to see if you can get this corrected if, in fact, it is wrong? Sure. Sure it is. It's, it is the right, right first step. However, you know, there's, there's power in numbers, and I think people, I think people just want to be heard, not only via the informal appeals process, but they just, they're venting. People are venting and they're comparing their situation to others and they're asking for help before they go in there. So I, I think that's one of the purposes of this group is to try to just actually settle people down a little bit. Too. All right. Give us the, uh, the title of your, the Facebook page that has been set up to vent. It is called Indiana County PA against tax reassessment increases. Ooh, that's a mouthful, huh? Yeah, it's a mouthful. That's a mouthful. (laughs) But you can get on, I'm sure if you put Indiana County reassessment or something like that, it'll come up on Facebook. We also have on our, we have a conversation on our Facebook pages at 1160 WCCS and WDAD. And we have seen some conversation there and some, uh, wow, some frightening stories of what it was yeah. and what it is. And of course the people that maybe got reduced a hundred bucks, they're just sitting back going, Oh boy. But, uh, you know, maybe we're just yeah. lucky. So there's going to be a couple of, um, well, let's call it protests coming up. Tell us about those. Well, we're, we're calling them peaceful rallies, and that's and we're asking for people to behave themselves too. It's, we're not going out there and, and yelling and screaming and carrying on. We just want it. We want to be seen and heard. Um, there will be one tomorrow at the Indiana Mall in the parking lot off of Warren Road to your left when you go, go in off Warren Road, beginning at seven thirty. Now the weather doesn't look like it's going to be too good for that one. But there is also an additional one on Friday at the courthouse beginning at 8. And we're asking, if you know, if you want to bring your own poster board, write whatever you want to write on it, just keep it clean. And yeah, they're... All right. Uh... We just want peaceful rallies. We just, you know, yeah. we just want to be seen and heard. But 
you know, and I think this is probably the way to do it as far as that goes. I think the numbers of people that have joined the Facebook group alone for those Italians that are even on Facebook is phenomenal. It yeah. just uh, is not even two full days. So, And you're over 1,200 followers right now, and I'm sure that is going to grow. And like you say, it's mainly a place to vent. And, you know, it's such an emotional issue, too. You get it, you know, Times are tough enough anyway, and now you get deep into people's pockets, particularly, I don't mean to single out a group, but you get the senior citizens out there on the fixed income, and bang, it hits hard. And as you said, people trying to sell their homes, uh, it could be a very uh, a, a big detriment to selling that home. So it's tough for a lot, a lot of people. And I don't know what the answer is. It's been so many years since they've had the reassessment. Um, do, you, do you honestly think that they maybe could go back and, and rethink this and do it again? Well, I'm not sure if this could or possibly I mean, financially be another reassessment. I just think that valuations need to be looked at a little more closely. And, um, and you, you nailed it with the elderly. Um, I have read so many saying that one person in particular said her grandmother lives on 16000 a year, but her taxes went up to 10000 Now, who's going to cover that? Yeah. You know, I don't know how she's going to do this. And they're going to be, people are going to be forced out of their homes. Businesses are going, if their taxes were raised, the product pricing is going to go up. Mm-hmm. Landlords are going to have to raise their rent to meet, to meet these taxes and everything. So everybody's suffering and it's, it's a no win situation the whole way around. Well, even those who had the assessment reduced a couple of hundred bucks, let's say they're going to feel the impact with what you're saying, uh, products going up in price and, and that sort of thing. So everybody is going to be affected by the reassessment sure. and, uh, sure. Well, it's a tough time, so uh, give us again the times of your peaceful rallies. <laughs> it will begin at 7.30 tomorrow morning at the Indiana Mall, and then at 8 o'clock on Friday at the courthouse. All right, and everybody is invited. Bring a, a sign, a, a sign that can do some good, not, you know, a snotty little sign. You know, that's not the purpose, I can tell, of this group. But just to let your voice be heard and get your opinion out there. Right. We've established rules. There's a set of rules listed under the guidelines for these rallies, and we hope that everybody abides by them. If they don't, you know, they will be asked to leave because the the whole point is not to cause a further ruckus. It's just to, like I said, be seen and be heard in a peaceful way. So because, you know, act like animals, it's pretty counterproductive. Yeah. So. I give your Facebook, that, people. the title of your Facebook page again, Indiana County PA against tax reassessment increase. Whew. Against <laughs> tax reass... Did you come up with that, Tammy? <laughs> Partially. <laughs> okay. Well, that's where it is I, on... I have some people in the, in the background, so... <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Well, that's what it is, folks. If you want to join that conversation, you can join that one. You can join ours on our Facebook pages at our radio stations. And, uh, hey, we'll see where all shakes down. So good luck tomorrow and uh, Friday. And uh, keep fighting the good fight, Tammy. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is.